Welcome Tango friends. This will probably be my last tutorial for a little while because we are getting our things finally this coming week. And um, so I wanted to go out with one more tangle of, of my own that I'm calling Mooka Lily Leaf. And I'll share with you one of my botanical illustrations here that I did so long ago. And the reason is it's because the venation goes from the bottom to the top of the leaf very long and it's like the line work in this tangle. So one of you on my Annie's Botangle alumni Facebook page made a comment, I can't remember who, sorry, uh, but you know we've been learning all these flowers this summer and she said where there are flowers there be leaves and that's why I've been adding a couple of leaves to this little repertoire so uh, we can combine them all. Anyway, I have one last Phi tile left, one that I've already colored with Lindy's Magical Shakers, and I will link in the description below how to do those. I did a tutorial on them. And since we are not gonna be shading with graphite on top of color, I did just grab a bunch of colored pencils that I have here to do that shading when we get so far. I have my colorless blender, and then of course my Copic I'm sorry, Copic, somebody also corrected me on that. My Copic, actually this one's the Stettler Pigment Liner 0.1, which is like the 001 Micron Pen, and a PN, because we wanna do some line, lively line. I always, always have my pencil sharpener nearby. I can't wait to get my electric pencil sharpener back soon. So I want this also to be a lesson for you on how to compose something. If you're stuck and you're like, okay, there's that leaf, but now what, what do I do with it? I know how to do the tangle. How do I put more leaves together? And I say for that, just go out in nature, snap off a twig with some leaves on it. Nature has the most beautiful compositions to be inspired by. So that's what I did for this one. You can add several different leaves, obviously, and use this kind of as a string or a jump off point for working your other tangles around. Now, I'm putting that in pencil because we are going to aura that line so that we can make it an actual little branch. So I'm gonna aura that first. I can't see because of the sparkles. Ooh, it's really hard to see this. So this is going to give us plenty of practice. Okay, so this is how I do, I'm calling this my mucha lily leaf, and that, that is because it begins with mucha. I have this branch kind of going off in this direction, so I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna start from the bottom and make my mucha going that direction. And the more you kind of arc out, the more room you'll have to build your leaf. And then we're gonna go from here to about halfway up to the mucha head and then pull out and make a slender, very elegant leaf. And that's almost it. Now let's do some of the finessing. Now we're gonna do our line work and I'm gonna make it a little straight at first and as we get closer to that arc, we can bow out. And then you can also kind of add a little fescue in there and weight this line. And then I'm, I'm, so, oh, most importantly, before we go on and do that finishing touch of weighting the line, we want to add these lines 
connecting the mucha to the to the leaf so that it looks like it's like growing together and that's where I will also do a little bit of line weight there as well as onto the mucha back and then of course you can wait here and there one of your lines just to give it a little bit more dimension. And let's do that again, so you can see. So I'm gonna start down here like I always do. I always start my mocha from the bottom. I'm gonna bow out like this. And then keeping that point in mind, we're going to go from the bottom again and make another leaf shape. We're going to connect that and start our line work. This is, this is for me, it's super easy because I've drawn so many leaves in my life, but I hope you find it easy enough to incorporate into your daily tangle work and use it all the time because it really is elegant, beautiful, and easy. So let's do another one here. You can, of course, vary the size. You can also vary how fat your leaf is, but I kind of really like that elegant, long leaf. Let's see, maybe I'll go this way and have it cross under the stem. I'm sure if you've been following me, you might have heard me say this before, but mucha is my favorite tangle. You know, often if you join a website, they'll ask you, what is your favorite tangle? And I invariably say mucha. Let's see. That one. I was not paying attention because I was talking to you. <laughs> Since this one is on top of this, I'm going to wait that line. There, isn't that a pretty elegant little stem? So now you can go have a fabulous time doing what you want in the background. Shade. And this is how I would shade. Um, let's see, this is kind of a darker color here. So I, I'm taking this. We're going to shade underneath the mocha curl over here and then on top of the, the mocha curl also. And where it pinches at the top. That is hardly showing up for you, so I'm going to take a darker shade of green. Kind of mixes in with the blue green here. So now you can really see that shading. And I like to shade the mucha head like this. And then I will 
blend. And I'm going to get my ochre and just add a little bit, picking that color up. So you see, these colors weren't on the background itself, but I'm picking them up from neighboring areas. That makes it so coordinated and rich. So that's how you would shade. And here is how it would look shaded in just graphite. So basically under and over the top of the mucha, I do shade the mucha head a little bit down at the bottom. And of course you can shade up here where there's already some self-shading going on by the pinched line work. But how easy is that, guys? I hope you embrace this tangle and have as much fun with it as I do. I'd like to add a few highlights where this leaf is kind of bulbous. And since we're on colored background. I don't even know if you can see that. It's really hard because there's this shimmer going on with the gold that I put in my Lindy's background. It's very subtle, but really adds something. Okay, so now I've picked up pretty much all of the colors from the background and put them in our little mooka leaf, our mooka lily leaf. And now it's finally time for me to sign. I'll put my chop on. I might go back and add some more things in the background. For now, I'm going to call this one finished. Some other inspirations for using um, that tangle and adding flourishes. But now I think you can see the sparkles, which is really fun. I'm going to sign off for this week and hope to see you sooner than later. I will try to maybe do some short things in between if I have a chance. I can't wait to have my good lights back. It's been hard to try to set up with lights here. And um, yeah, that way you can see a little bit better 